Hi everyone. I call this game Proteus because it's called Proteus. And a lot of you probably won't like this game. A lot of you probably have heard of it and hate it. A lot of you probably heard of it and love it. And a lot of you probably haven't heard of it at all. So I'll just get right in. And I'll explain why this is one of my go-to chill-out games of all time. You start out at sea. What are you doing there? Who knows? Are the graphics terrible? Your choice. I will start off by saying I think the graphics are beautiful. I think the world is beautiful. I mean, you don't need severe realism to understand what's going on here. Look at the water, look at the way it ripples. So subtle but it lets your mind fill in the blanks. I've got, as this is a procedurally generated island, each one is different, and this one is going to be mine to explore. It's procedurally generated, as is the music. I've started by a forest. All these beautiful spring-like colours. Look at that blossom falling on the ground. My housemate clattering in the background. Beautiful. But seriously. This is my island. And that's my phone. This is my island for the time being. This is, for this playthrough, my own randomly generated clattering island. And look, I found a path. Let's just follow the path, see where it takes us. It's taken me to some stones. My flatmate is putting rice into a bowl. I don't know if you can hear it. Now, I want you to listen to these stones. You might question, why are those stones there? Why do they make that noise? when you walk past them. And why does it only work the first time? Why is my phone going off? Why is my housemate choosing my most relaxing game to make the most noise he possibly can in the kitchen? All these questions are to be answered by your own mind. There we go. I've been past every stone. And that released some sort of lovely little glittery bits. I've no idea why. But that's where I can start explaining the beauty of this game to you. Oh, look, there's the clouds. Just some clouds rolling in. For me, the beauty of this game is the fact that... See, what's that? It's a frog! And he's gone into the water. Isn't this stunning? Isn't this just stunning? So, I'll follow the path up. Anyway, as I was saying, the point of this game for me is it's an escape. It's an escape to a sort of mystical island that relies quite heavily on your imagination to fill in the blanks. You know, I know that those are just sort of big blobs of pink and big blobs of green and all that sort of thing. Will you shut up? But, you know, I can say, actually, those are trees. Those are beautiful cherry blossom in the spring on this island that I've just washed up on. And there are some singing stones. And why are the singing stones there? I don't know. Someone might decide that those singing stones are there to ward off invaders on the island. You know, they'll send messages to the island's inhabitants. Could be that. I think they are. They were built by a long lost, long lost tribe and uh, each person who walks past a stone only hears its song once, ever, in their whole life. Even if you hear someone else walking past a stone, you won't hear it. Uh, you'll only hear it the once that you walk past. See, what have we got up here? I've just found this mountain, okay? And we've got some figures up here. I mean, what's that, first of all? Sort of like a strange Viking statue kind of circle overlooking the sea 
perhaps the inhabitants of this island you know worshipped these these figures as their gods you know for example the what could this be this could be the uh, the the bull and this is I think quite clearly the eagle and uh, here we have the uh, I mean goodness knows what that is but that's what I mean we just have all these different things and here we have the fertility god and here we have the rabbit um, and all of these were placed just specifically in my mind, in my interpretation of this world, they were all placed specifically like this, so they could watch over the setting sun and protect the island's inhabitants from the moon, which the islanders feared. See? I'm making this up. A lot of people would say, well, where did you get all that from? Why, why are you even, you know, yakking on about this crap. As you can see, there's a day-night cycle. Day has now finished, the sun set over the sea there, and night has just begun. There's another stone up here. This must be a special singing stone. This is probably the one that the uh, was erected as a uh, a monument to the to the gods of the eagle, the the uh, bull, the rabbit that watch over the island. What's this? Oh, yeah. I've heard its song once. There we are. Never, never to be heard again. And you can see I'm looking out over my island. I haven't explored anywhere near half this island yet. But just listen to the music. Listen to the sense of... Look, there's a shooting star or the International Space Station or something flying through the sky. I reckon it's the ISS. And this sing there we are. That singing stone sang for me. And there's a lot more island to explore. In this beautiful, beautiful island. But for now, I'm going to go down into the uh, into the forest because I can see the trees rustling. I can see some sort of strange mixture of uh, of white sparkly objects. Let's go down through the clouds and into the into the forest. There's a night toad hopping through the forest. Let's not chase him anymore. You know, this forest is enchanted. I'm sure it's enchanted and... You know... I can't even think of a story for this forest. It's just so damn beautiful by itself. Some mushrooms growing here, look. See the mushrooms? Lots of mole hills here. Moles were sacred, worshipped creatures on this island, as far as I'm concerned. Going past these singing stones. Oh, these must be new singing stones. And we seem to be getting close to something here. Oh, it's a circle of singing stones. Why was it placed here? Who knows? All I know is that I find them beautiful. And I'm hearing their song for the first time. There's a section of island over there with just some stones on. Should we go and investigate their song before we enter the circle and see what that has to bring? So as you can see, I'm, I'm just sort of chilling out. I'm letting my mind fill in blanks. I don't have to fill them in at all. These don't sing. What are they there for? Were they there to dock or moor, you know, great ships that used to come past in old worlds gone by? Oh, one started singing. We've got some strange sort of sea flora there. You know, it's, it's entirely what you make at this game. Now they're singing. Why weren't they singing before? Maybe I wasn't looking at the stone circle. Who knows? Let's crawl back across this little stretch of sea. And let's explore the inside here. I'm going to shut up and let you see what happens when I go into this circle.
And as you'll see, everything has changed. Oh, the island's still the same. But the season has changed. We've gone from spring to summer. We've got blossoming flowers. We have these little sort of dandelion feather fluff things. All glittering in the sunlight. And a little little set of bees or something flying around there. Let's explore another part of this island for you. See what we can't find. Some more mushrooms. Oh, hello. Mr. and Mrs. Frog. What can we find through here? Through the mushroom fields, there's some more of these singing stones. Plenty on this island. Herds of crabs. Nomadic tribe of crabs. <laughs> what their story is. Again, you can make up your own story. Either you can make up your story, you don't have to make up any story at all. It can all be an abstract joy to you if you want it to be. I like to think, why are things here? What are they? What's this, for example? I consider it the old, sort of burned ruins of a great tree that once stood here, surrounded by other trees. It was struck by lightning hundreds and hundreds of years ago but the base remains, and the crabs tend it and worship it. Because why the hell not? Loads of the crabs on this island. I never had a lake before. I like my lake. Look how beautiful this is, honestly. The sun's shining and pretty hot. Ooh, I hear something different. What can I hear? Again, I'm playing this with a controller. Oh, they're there. I'm playing this with a controller because you can play with a controller. I like this part of the island. This is nice. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Little squirrels! Oh! A group of hens! Oh! I'm gonna chase you towards the crabs. See what you do when you meet the crabs for the first time. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna avoid them. Hey, you didn't like that, did you, crabs? But you can just spend as long as you like chasing things around on this island. Enjoying what you find. Little frog. It's getting towards night time. Let's go up here. See what we can see from the top of this hill. See what's just over this brow here. Oh, a different type of forest. Oh, look at that. That looks like a graveyard. Why are there graves there? What are they doing? <laughs> you know. Up we go. Away from the busy summer hustle and bustle. Up to the quiet stone of contemplation. I know. <laughs> I know. Can you just... All you have to do up here, survey the landscape, and listen to the wind. If you're searching for anything inside yourself, any answers, this is the place to come. That's what I would do. So as you can see, I tend to sort of build up my experiences on this island. Um, Every single time you play, it's completely different. It's randomly generated, and I've never seen such a diverse island, I have to say, with so many hills and bits of water and so on. I love this. It's possibly my favorite one yet, but I remember my first island. I remember the first time I came into this game, and I remember exactly where I went and what I did, because I was just astounded at the beauty and just, oh, there's some flies. <laughs> and what are these? What's this? Oh my goodness. That is one magical frog. It glitters wherever it goes. Oh! Oh, it's gone into the sea. <laughs> well, it's gone now. 
crabs on the shore with the moon arising. And don't worry, there aren't any monsters in this game. Nothing to kill, nothing to actually do, no quests, no NPCs, so to speak. It's just a gentle explore. Now, a lot of people will have turned this off by now. Oh, I can see two of those frogs over there. I'm going to go and see them. Oh, look at that cloud shape. That's a sinister looking cloud shape. I wonder why it's in that particular shape. Because that's a specific kind of shaped cloud, isn't it? Let's go and have a, have a look at these frogs. Magical frogs. Oh, and then that's a magical frog. Oh, there's a house. There's some... Presumably these are fireflies up here. Oh, isn't it just gorgeous? Oh! Doo -doo. It's an L. You can see it up here. There it is. Very shy, the owls on this island, I think. There it goes. Ah. Oh. How could anyone not absolutely adore this game? It's just stunning. Ooh. 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 Here we've got a, an old house built just by the lakeside. Wouldn't you love to live here? Back garden. Just have a nice evening out here in the, in the gentle, gentle evening. Gentle evening heat of the summer. Right. I'm going to go back and I'm going to progress this to the next season. I could stay... Oh look, there's a bat! Is it a bat? Looks like a bat. There's a couple of them. Oh, and I'm going to explore that tower later as well. Shut up, flatmate. Can't you see I'm trying to... Trying to enjoy this world. Ugh, up the mountain. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the uh, beautiful stone circle. Join in with the, the dance and progress to autumn. Or fall, as uh, I know Americans call it. Well, Americans and probably quite a few other people, no doubt. But um, we call it autumn here on uh, whichever, whatever this place is called. I'm going to call it Anaria. That's what this planet, this uh, island is called. Anaria. It's very quiet through this forest, quiet and peaceful. There we are. There's my stone circle. My trusted stone circle. We've got lots of these little moth things. Ah. Oh. Here we go. It's time to progress. I'll leave you on that and see where we come out. It's now the slightly somber, slightly melancholy autumn. The fast growth of summer is over, as you can see. These creatures have turned into their next stage of life. The trees are all beautiful red and yellow colours of autumn. There's a bit of decay around. Lots of uh, fungus and mushrooms feeding on the, the dead leaves, absorbing all the, all the detritus. Yeah, plenty of them, look. Definitely a sense of death, but natural death, not sad death. 
just a part of life, death, in the air. Let's head on over here. It's very misty. Very misty indeed. Oh, it looks like we've got rain over here. It's autumn after all. Let's go up through the rain. Through the rain clouds. Ah, oh, oh, we're at the graveyard. This is where I want to come back to. Can you hear that? The music's changed. Definitely is a suitable place to be at the autumn time. Paying my respects at the graveyard. The old inhabitants of the island. Who knows? Yeah, maybe I'm taking this too seriously. Maybe I'm... Maybe I should just shut up and enjoy the colours and say, lol, this would be great while high. But uh, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to experience it in my way. No idea where that tower was, though, I'll tell you. Possibly it was further, further over this way. Graveyard. Doo -doo. And I think you can get the um, soundtrack for this. Yeah, it's bleak, isn't it? Well, not bleak, it's... Sombre. Sombre, I think, is definitely the right word here. Because that's exactly what it is. I'm going to head up to the top of this. Pay my respects to the uh, the big standing stone. Anyway, I hope this is relaxing all of you. The peak of contemplation and reflection. This is probably the offspring of. Uh, oh, I move slow around it. It's probably the offspring of that tree that was burned down by the the lightning strike that I mentioned before. I bet the druids uh, venerated this tree highly. Lots of sparkling motes in the air now, as we draw towards night. the standing stones again, the singing stones. What's happened to the crabs? They all appear to be... What are they doing? Is this hibernation for them, perhaps? Oh, we're raining again. Cool, that was a deep, deep note. I highly recommend getting this game. It doesn't matter if you've played it through several times, like I have. If you need to chill out, you just come into here. Find what the new, you know, this new world will bring you. And just enjoy it. Oh! The fog's lifted. Wow. 
Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. I'm not seeing this before. Phosphorescence all around. See, in death there is beauty and life. Here's the message I think I'm supposed to be receiving here. It's certainly the message I'm taking from it. Ah. Oh. Over we head again. See if in winter I can find that tower for you. Back to the standing stones. Stone circle. Let's see autumn breeze past and melt into, or rather, <laughs> freeze into winter. Ivea. Look at this. But also listen. I mean, you're probably able to hear my background noise more than anything, but... It's a very still... Very respectful... Majestic... Noise. And this, this definitely personifies winter for me. Quiet, majestic, beautiful, but also barren and bleak. Let's head up, head up the top of this mountain. Oh dear. There we are. Hear that as I get above the clouds? There's the big tree I was talking about earlier. That's lost its leaves too. There's the watcher on the mountain over there, the watcher stone. <laughs> Let's get up over this peak. Pay our respects to this watcher. What's below the clouds? Aha! Uh -huh. A frozen lake? Stunted trees? Across the frozen waters and wastelands we go. I'm slowing, but not before I show you the strange tower. This is my most mysterious part of the game. I have no idea why this is here. I can never, never come up with a suitable story for why it's here and why the noises are like that. I'm sure the noises suggest why it's here. Got a tree growing out of it. But that tower, yeah, that tower has always been a mystery to me. Let's search this forest over here. Frozen sea. Far as the eye can see amongst all the snow. Isn't it just? Silence. Oh my goodness. As you can see, I've started floating.
for no one can stay on this island for more than more than a year you always end up floating upwards 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 getting ever higher powerless unable to touch the floor but able to see things from a, a slightly different perspective Maybe that's how we should look at life. Let yourself go, let yourself be taken away by happenings. So you can obtain a different perspective on life. Who knows? Again, very deep. <laughs> very deep for just an indie game. And for the minimalist presentation. But who knows? There's a tree that's retained its leaves. I wonder why just that one out of all of them. I'm going right up through the clouds now. Can't see a thing. There we are. The moon. And you can see the Milky Way going across there. Look, that's our galaxy. And some strange sort of, almost like northern lights. three bands I'm going to go towards them flying high above the clouds I want to follow these shooting stars as well I want to see where they would take me I'm going to pay my last respects to the gods of the uh, the gods of the island. They watched over me during my time here. Maybe I'll be joining one of those graves. Who knows? And there's a dog barking. I hate that dog. Floating far and free. And the dog's still barking. I do apologise for the total lack of... Total lack of tranquility that I've managed to induce for this... Uh, this video, guys. And girls. Slowly these lights are fading. What do they represent? What are they? Who knows? But I'm going towards it. even as it disappears below the horizon. Just out of reach, I can't quite get to it. I'm high above everything. As I gently shut my eyes. And that's the end of my journey through the world of Proteus. So, as I say, it can be a bit strange, it can make you think what on earth is going on, but I highly recommend you try it. Be quiet, dog. There's a lot of, there's a lot going for it, um, if you just want to... What is this? Ooh. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely worth picking up if you can find it for cheap somewhere, because it's beautiful and it's just a nice escape from the hustle and bustle and dogs of daily life. Thanks for watching everyone. That was a one-off video from me. I won't be doing too many more like that. But there you go, I wanted to share it with you. Thank you so much for sticking... Pardon me, that's my pizza. Thank you so much for sticking by and uh, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.